Hello everyone, welcome to my music channel. I have never done this before and we'll see how it goes. And anyway, I felt like I wanted to give a short introduction about myself. So anyway, uh, my name is Matt and I'm a classically trained pianist and played for about 15 years. Note that um, most of this is like scripted. There's like a little script in front of me, but like, I don't know, we'll make it work. I feel like one of those news reporters <laughs> that read off the screen. Oh, okay, never mind, but okay. I quit uh, piano when I was around 20 to focus more on school. Believe it or not, music isn't what I majored in. At age 17, I started making covers on YouTube of popular songs, and although I have two accounts, this is my only active one. Now that short introduction is over, I want to talk about developing perfect pitch. It's not something easily discovered and actually takes a lot of practice. I believe it all started when I was playing the clarinet in 6th grade. If you don't know, the clarinet is a B-flat instrument and the piano is by default a C concert C instrument. That means that if you look at the sheet music and play a C on the clarinet, you're actually playing a B-flat. I feel that this distinction at a young age helped me realize what I had. It wasn't however until high school when I realized that I can share this gift with the world. Which, would be, which, which will be my true intent today to describe this through this program called Synthasia. So I tried to recall most of the exercises I went through as a piano student and tried to summarize them in many parts to possibly help you uh, create your own music to share and make the world a happier place with a gift you may discover. Without further ado, let's begin. The order I will explain the musical concepts will be oral training followed by selfage major cadences, minor cadences, chromatic cadences, an augmented and diminished chord example, and lastly, transposing. Now, what is aural training? Aural training is, put simply, training your ears to make out a melody and either reciprocate it by playing back, singing, or even writing it out on sheet music. It even goes further in depth where you may need to recognize musical notations like decrescendo, crescendo, staccato, retardando, etc. But that won't be our focus, and we are only going to be focusing on per uh, trying to develop perfect pitch, which is, um, and those music notes are what we're trying to try to develop today. This is an exercise my teacher showed me when I was taking lessons. You basically hear the given melody that is played and repeat it back by singing or humming. Now, oral training is usually done by having someone play music, and you're not allowed to look at the music while it's being played. But if you want to look at the music, feel free to do so. It starts by giving the tonic or key of the melody, in which this case is C. I will begin um, the oral training lesson. So this is C. Yep, so that's a little introduction to our training and basically you just put those, uh, you just try to make any kind of melody you want, any any rhythm and just try to sing it back. Just continue just trying to do those exercises. And the idea is that you can try to play any melody and just try to hum it back to train your ears over and over again and try to hear each note. This is That's one of the exercises that um, I feel that is actually pretty important to try and develop perfect pitch. Next, I will go over solfege. And um, although I didn't really learn solfege except from watching maybe like the sound of music, I do believe that solfege is an important factor in developing a good ear. I took a few choir classes in college, but like, um, I don't know, I, I developed the pitch before that, but I do believe that it still is pretty helpful. Here now, I will provide you with the C major scale and what each note sounds like in solfege. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, 
提哆提拉嗦发咪瑞哆。So that's a little bit of、um, solfege, and now that you've heard what each note sounds like, you can also apply it to the exercise I just gave you. I will play back the rhythm again as an example. Do so fa mi re 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 mi do. Do re mi fa so so so, mi do re ti do. Okay, awesome. Now you can just try more exercises if you want to help、um, develop perfect pitch. And、um, well, just relative or perfect, whatever, whatever comes first, I guess.、Um, And solfege actually goes deeper than this with flats and sharps, but I can't remember those at the moment. So you can look those up、uh, yourself if you're interested online. Yeah, I don't know where, but you can find it somewhere. Anyway, before I leave and do part two of this video,、um, I want to leave you off with this. Remember how I said that I played clarinet and piano when I was younger? I will show you an example now of what a C major sounds like when played on a piano. Try、um, close your eyes for now and try、um, just listen to it. So this is C major on the piano. Now, if you take、um, C major,、uh, if you try to play the C major scale on a trumpet, it will sound different. And if you close your eyes again, this is what it would sound like. Sounds different, right? Maybe, perhaps, one day you'll figure out pitch re recognition with some of the exercises given. And well, this concludes this part of the video, which is oral training and solfege. So next、uh, will be cadences, and I will continue that in the next video, if you're interested, or if I just bored you for some reason. All right, bye.